what's up guys welcome back to another spy youtube video in today's video we're just gonna have a quick short one to discuss what is direct pool mining versus renting hash power so for this example guys we've gone with nice hash since that is the most popular marketplace for renting hash rate so first of all guys what exactly is nice hash NiceHash is a service that allows you to connect your mining hardware to their proprietary software which allows you to mine cryptocurrency with ease. You can basically consider it mining rental software. You are rewarded in Bitcoin for any work that your hardware has done. Then what is direct pool mining? Direct pool mining would be the process of taking your mining hardware and utilizing its computing power by connecting it to a specific software a specific mining pool of your choice as well as a wallet of your choice but that by doing direct pool mining you're rewarded in the actual coin that you're mining so for an example we've gone with ethereum or ravencoin what are the pros of using NiceHash? first of all it's simple and easy to use in my opinion it's one of the easiest things or one of the easiest miners to use and it's perfect for beginners that are just wanting to get their foot in the door in terms of mining number two it works with the mine and dump strategy so what i mean by that is if you're just looking to make a passive income on the side and you're not planning on holding these coins nice hash is perfect for you you can simply mine get paid out in bitcoin and then sell that bitcoin off for fiat three you get paid in bitcoin in our opinion this is one of the less volatile cryptocurrencies at the moment so you won't be experiencing those fluctuations in price like you would on an altcoin for example and then number four payouts usually occur sooner this is going to be dependent on your hardware but what NiceHash does is they have a certain threshold of a certain amount and once your mining software or your mining hardware has hit that threshold, it pays out every four hours. Then what are the cons of using NiceHash? First of all, it's slightly less profitable than di direct mining. What I mean by this, you guys will see that I have fees there in brackets. NiceHash has certain people to pay. So for example, they have their developers to pay and they have other employees that they have to pay so that they can provide this service to us. Then number two, security. NiceHash is three things in one. It's an exchange, it's mining software, and it's your wallet. Some people don't prefer to have their crypto sitting in a hot wallet, like it would be on NiceHash, for example, and they would prefer to move it over to cold storage, like a ledger, for example. So what are the pros of direct mining? Well, number one, you're actually able to choose what coin you want to mine. So in our opinion, at the moment, Ethereum is the most profitable thing to be mining, so you can be choosing to mine that. Number two, it's more profitable than NiceHash mining. So with direct pool mining, you're cutting out those service fees and you're doing everything yourself. Number three, stability and control. What I mean by this is NiceHash does everything for you. You don't have much control over the mining software and actual inputs into your mining software. So in terms of controlling your rigs, direct pool mining would be much better. Then number four, HODL. If this is your game plan with crypto, direct mining is perfect for you because you're simply going to be mining the coin, accumulating it, accumulating it, and you're going to be holding long term for those gains. So then what are the cons of direct mining? Number one, selling your mine coin will result in unnecessary fees. So like I was saying, if you are planning to make a small passive income and just mine coin and dump it, you want to go with NiceHash. If you're planning on hodling, then you would go with direct mining. If you're trying to sell mine coin and turn it into fiat, most exchanges are going to charge you quite a percentage fee to do so. Then number two, the minimum payout rule. So the way direct mining works is you don't get a payment every three hours or four hours, for example. You will only receive your payout once your block has been completed on whichever mining pool you have chosen. 
so depending on your hardware that could be every day every two days every three days for example then the big question the question everyone wants to know profitability which one makes more so if you guys come with me over to watermine.com so what might watermine is it's basically a website that gives you an estimate of how much profit you're looking to make depending on your hardware and what algorithm you're using so for this example I've just gone and put in one RTX 3060 over here and we're looking at ETH hash which is Ethereum's algorithm let's say that we were doing about 35 mega hash at 110 watts if we just click calculate over here and we come down over here we'll see that Ethereum is the most profitable thing to be mining right now what you guys will notice it says Ethereum and then it says nice hash Ethereum so you'll see over here here's your profit and here's your profit so if we were doing direct pool mining which would be this one over here you would be making two dollars sixty five a day before electricity and two dollars thirty four after electricity if you are mining Ethereum through nice hash you would be making two dollars forty six before electricity and two dollars fourteen after electricity so yes guys you'll see that the difference is very small but what you need to understand is that once you start upgrading and your rigs start getting more and more these small differences start adding up so in conclusion who should use nice hash and who should do direct mining in our opinion if you are just looking to get your foot in the door or if you are just interested in what this crypto crypto mining craze is I would suggest using nice hash it's simple to use your payouts are easy it's less of a headache if you see that you're into crypto mining it's something that you can see yourself doing then eventually I would suggest going into direct mining as in the long term this would be more profitable for you And that's today's video guys thanks for joining us on the short one if you guys have any questions on what i discussed today if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see on the channel please drop it in the comments below and please don't forget to like and subscribe guys